Everybody loves free stuff. And in this video, I'm going to show you my top 10 free plugins for Final Cut Pro. You can find all the links down below and we're going to end off with my most used free plugin of all time. But first, let's kick things off with what is possibly my favorite plugin on this list, Leno FX's 12 RGB revealers. These are the 12 effects you can choose from. I'll just add this first one here by double clicking it. And you can see what's happening here. We have these cool RGB channels sort of animating in. You can change things like the build in and out, the animation speed, the echo trails, the edges intensity. You can adjust the hue if you want. And another thing I like to do is to change the color order to RGB. Here's an example of what these 12 RGB revealers can help you to create. Coming up next is FX Factory's super custom title plugin, which allows you to create customizable title templates with various animations. In my title browser, I have the super custom lower third and I have the main title. So I'll drop that onto my timeline. And right here, we've got advanced and simple. I can double click on my inspector to expand all my parameters and all of these parameters apply to the advanced title. And from here where it says simple, all of these parameters will affect the simple title. Now you can simply select your text to go and edit it. But once I'm back in my title parameters here, I can change things like the opacity. So that will animate in from an opacity of zero to hundred. And I can change things like the speed. I might just ease that in. You can change the direction. You can also animate on a character or word basis. And maybe I'll affect the scale here as well. I'll set the speed of that to Expo for exponential. And maybe on the transform parameters, I will push it up. So the position will start higher up around here, fade in, scale up and move into position. And that looks like this. Coming in hot, we have Ryan Nangle's 3D orientation effect, which allows you to manipulate videos, photos and titles in 3D space to create shots like this 3D screen hologram effect. The effect is really easy to pull off. I have a screen recording from my phone here. I've just cropped off the top and the bottom and I'm going to overlay that on my clip here of me scrolling through my phone. I'll select my iPhone screen recording, hit option G to create a compound clip because when I apply Ryan Angle's 3D orientation effect, I don't want the rotation to go out of bounds of my viewer window here. And I'll start by rotating this in the Y space, something like that, maybe tilting it a little bit. I can adjust that and I'll rotate it something like that. I'll set my blend mode from normal to screen. I'll add a glint effect, which you can find as one of Final Cut Pro's default effects. And I'll just tone that down a little bit, increase the tint. And there we have a cool hologram effect. Comment below if you want a full tutorial on how to create this effect. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe because we do fun Final Cut Pro things here. Now let's take a look at Dylan Bates, AKA the Final Cut Bros Adjustment Plus plugin. As of the release of Final Cut Pro 11.1, we now have adjustment clips natively in Final Cut Pro, but Dylan's Adjustment Plus plugin offers additional functionality that makes it really useful. You can find the adjustment layer in the adjustment layer category in your titles browser, and I can drag that across my clips and just extend it to fit. What I really like is that you have a built-in LUT drop-down window, so I can go ahead and just choose my Fire and Ice LUT, for example, and then that gets applied to all of these clips underneath. A few other things, you can adjust the gamma, the contrast and saturation as well. You can also sharpen the clips underneath, add blur, noise, add a letterbox if you want. And that obviously gets applied to all of the clips underneath. One of the best parts is the fact that you also have this horizon guide, which you can move and rotate if you need to line things up across various shots. Up next is the damaged filament transition from Korantan Abulan, which is a transition that emulates the look of damaged film, adding a gritty analog feel to your footage. Here's the damaged filament transition right here, and I can just drag and drop that onto my footage, and it looks pretty great. One thing I like is that you can adjust the blend mode, so I can change it from exclusion to difference, for example, and it gives it a totally different look. Another thing you can do, aside from changing the blend mode, is you can adjust things like the saturation, you can adjust the, the channels individually. You can also adjust the hue. You'll see that there are a bunch of other transitions here, and that's because he has a whole lot of free transitions, titles, and effects, as well as some super affordable paid options. 
I'd highly recommend checking out what he's got on his website. To sell this transition, we need a cool sound effect. So I'll head over to Upbeat and let's try this one. Perfect. I'll download that and I'll drop that into my project. I'll hit Control Option E to assign that to my effects audio roll. And this is what that sounds like. I found that sound effect for free on Upbeat. Now, Upbeat is a platform that is built just for creators, offering thousands of sound effects, music tracks, and motion graphics from their community of artists and designers. You can get started on Upbeat for free and you can get access to 30% of their entire catalog, including music tracks and sound effects. This is perfect for creators who are just starting out or those who need high quality audio without breaking the bank. To illustrate how great the free music is, all of the music in this video comes from the free portion of the catalog, not from the paid portion. If you sign up for one of the paid plans, which are super affordable by the way, you get 100% catalog access, unlimited downloads, and the ability to safe list multiple YouTube channels. They recently added motion graphics to their ever-growing library of assets, including LUTs, drag and drop overlays, and transitions as well. I'd highly recommend joining Upbeat using my link down below. You can join thousands of other creators for free, support artists, and you can unlock their whole catalog for just a few dollars a month. I know you'll love it as much as I do. Moving on to Snap Zoom from Brett's FX, which allows you to easily create quick crash zooms in your videos. I have this clip of a guy on a bike and I'll just drag and drop the Snap Zoom effect onto the clip. And I can adjust things like the scale if I want to and I'll use this position X and Y slider to kind of position him into the center of the frame. The speed is set to 85. Let's have a look at what that looks like. Now is the perfect time to plug one of my own free plugins, which is the color full effect. It's super handy if you bring in a black logo onto a dark background like this, for example. Instead of editing that file in Photoshop or something else to change the color, you can just add the color fill effect and you can change the color here to anything you like. You also have the option of switching from color to gradient and you can choose your start and end colors for this gradient. So let's say I chose something like that. I can then use the on-screen controls to adjust the gradient and I can also swap the colors if I need to. I also often use it when I'm doing a screen recording for a client and I use my personal profile, for example, on a particular website that I want to block out. I can add the color fill effect, hide it, select the solid color here and use the color picker to pick the exact color of that background. And then I'll go ahead and hover over here and add a mask. I'll just add a shape mask and I'll adjust it like so with very little feathering and I can just place it in the corner up here to hide my profile image and hit done. Next up is the quick in and out bouncer from Tap5A, which allows you to create quick in and out animations without the need for keyframes. This is great if you have logos that you want to quickly pop up on screen or animate on screen in a nice way. What I'll do is I'll just adjust the length of this clip to something like that. And then it's important to resize this the way you want before adding the effect. So I'll just go ahead and scale this down and maybe I'll position it over here in the bottom corner, something like that. I can then go ahead and make a compound clip of this. And that's so when I add this effect, it doesn't crop off in a weird way. And with that effect applied, we've got the animation in flying from the left and it looks like this. Now I can go ahead and I can change this to fly from bottom, which would look like this. I can change it to something like wipe from left, which would then wipe on the screen. So you've got 18 different presets to choose from here, maybe blur in, and you can also adjust how long it takes for this effect to happen. Here's another free plugin from LenoFX called 7 Picture in Picture Free. This plugin includes seven picture-in-picture -picture templates that are super customizable. You can add them from the browser window as title effects, which work with drop zones, or you can add them from the effects browser as an effect directly onto the clip. There are many ways to customize these templates, like adjusting these colors like so, and by positioning the clip in the center of the circle using the content pan parameter. I can also reposition and resize the clip using these on-screen controls. This works well when you need to add a talking head to a tutorial or a screen recording like this one. Lastly, the free plugin that I probably use more than any other free plugin is MCAM Rig from MotionVFX. MCAM Rig simulates camera movements such as pans, tilts and zooms without keyframes, adding dynamic motion to static shots. 
if you've downloaded it before, because I have spoken about it before, you'll find it under the MCAM rig category in your titles browser. Otherwise, you can find it in the M extension extension window from Motion VFX. And I'll just go ahead here and search for MCAM rig. You can then just drag and drop that once it's downloaded onto your timeline. I'll just drag and drop it from here for now. And essentially what it does by default is it just zooms in with a bit of a blur. Super nice, but I'll go ahead and just make some adjustments. First, I'll just trim this a bit shorter than the clip and I'll adjust this to up top here and I'll change the camera Y rotation and I'll just adjust this a little more. Now we have this background here. Usually I go ahead and I change that by just selecting the color from the website or the screen recording that I've got. And you can adjust the blur amount by setting this depth of field blur amount to zero if you want everything to be in focus. I kind of like having this blurred. I also want to zoom in a little bit more, so I'll just pull this camera angle of view up a little bit. Maybe something like that looks good. It's a little short right now. Let's just extend it and turn this out animation off so you can see it a little better. I like that. What I would like to do as well is to add a subtle pan motion so I can change the position rate. I'll just adjust the X position rate like that and I'll adjust the position easing in and out. So now it zooms in and we have this cool little pan across the screen. That's a bit quick. I can probably slow it down quite a lot. And it looks like this. That sums up my list of the 10 best free plugins for Final Cut Pro in 2025. If you enjoyed these free plugins, then you will no doubt enjoy my other two videos on free plugins. So go ahead and watch those next or visit my website, link down below, to see my curated list of free plugins and transitions for Final Cut Pro.